the goal of this problem is to perform composition of functions and evaluate it at a number. So here is the composition that we're dealing with. And you can also see it written this way, g of f of 2. So we're going to kind of work backwards here. But what you first need to make sure to know is that whatever value this is, is representing your x. So the first thing we're going to do is to take that x value of 2 and then we're going to go to our f of x function. So if we look at our graph, the one in red is the f of x function. So we identify on that graph where our x value is 2. And what we want to know is where does this match up on our graph? What is the corresponding y value to this point where the x value is 2? So if we're looking for the x value, our result is negative 2. So f of 2, when we take our function and evaluate it at 2, when our x value is 2, the corresponding y value is negative 2. Now that we know that, we know what f of 2 is. So we can substitute in for this value. f of 2 is negative 2. So what we can do is to take the g of x function and plug in negative 2 into that. So once again, the concept is still the same. The value inside of the parentheses represents your x value. So you go now and on your graph, you want to find where your x value is a negative 2. So our x value of negative 2 is here. And you want to match that up with the corresponding y value on the graph. So here's our point that we're looking at on the graph where the x value is 2. And we match it up with the corresponding y value. So g of a negative 2, that y value is a positive 1. So our answer for this composition of functions is positive 1. Made with DoodleCast Pro.